Hello guys, Mark here. Today I will guide you through beginner friendly composition that you can see right now. We're going to use a Photobee, a free Photoshop alternative that will run directly in your web browser or any device. So that's really a good choice if you just want to test it out without paying anything for professional software. So here I am setting up a new artboard. This is full HD resolution and let's use this built-in gallery tool to search for our first picture. So I will pick some nice and warm tropical place and then I will make a portal in the center to a winter landscape. So here's my first image. Let's scale it up by dragging the corner. Hold shift to ma maintain the proportion. Confirm. And now we can select a shape for the portal. So let's use the shape tool here on the left this time. You can pick any shape, oval, rectangle. I will go with something like this, maybe. Five sides will do. You can modify this number as well. So I will go with this shape. Maybe this size. Seems all right. I can use the move tool now to reposition the shape or even scale it up and down or rotate. Cool. We got our background image and the shape. Now it's time to use gallery again and search for additional image that we put on the portal. So this time something with a snow. I want to have this nice contrast between cold and hot weather. Oh, that's the train over here is perfect. So I'm going to use this. Just click on it. It will load additional image on the new layer. Then you can reposition or rescale this image before you confirm at the top. Don't forget to confirm or hit enter. Let's make it semi-transparent, reducing the opacity slider so I can position this better in relation to our shape. Cool. I can move the transparency opacity slider back to 100%. Nice. Now I will select the shape. To select the shape, hold Command or Control key and simply click on the layer. With the shape selected, I'm going to create a quick mask on the layer with the train. So click here and we got mask now. Mask is simply cutting out everything outside our selection. But I want this train to kind of pop out from the frame. So I'm going to use a brush, a white brush and modify this mask layer. The mask layer is the one with black and white color on next to the image. So be sure you click on the mask before you start painting with a white color. So I simply uncover a train like this using brush tool. So I'm painting inside the mask layer manually. Cool. This is white color. So I uncover this, but as you may notice, I uncover too much. So I will need to switch to bl totally black color. Now I'm still in the mask layer. I will zoom in even further. You can use Shortcut, common plus or common minus to zoom in and out. Let's grab a smaller brush and cover this back. So I want to hide this snow here. I just want the train to pop up from the portal, from this frame. So now I will manually paint this mask, but this time with the black color to hide some elements. You can hold spacebar, so we'll get the pen tool, and then you can move your kind of your camera to the left, to the right, while you zoom in. So you don't need to zoom in and out all the time. If you've got magic mouse, you can also do it by swiping left, right, up and down. But I prefer to just press spacebar to get my pen tool, and this way you can move your camera without zooming out and in all the time. Okay, very simple manual work using brush tool, bl black color. Now we are covering back the unnecessary part of background here. All right, almost there. Just a few more strokes. I 
I'm still on the mask layer. I'm using a non-destructive method here. This is not eraser tool, simply using mask. So I can always use black and white color to hide or unhide some elements. And here we are close to the shape already, so we must be careful. Few more clicks and we are done. Let's take a look from a distance. Let's zoom out. That's nice. So we got this very geometrical portal with the train popping out to this tropical <laughs> beach here. Nice. Let's rename this layer portal. And now we can apply some layer effects to this shape. Like outer glow. I select layer styles menu. You can double click on the layer to get this menu quickly. And now I will make some kind of cold blue glow. So we got this cold feeling from this portal. You can modify the size, the blending mode, opacity of the light. Okay, we cannot use inner glow or anything like that because we got image in front of the shape anyway, so we cannot see it. So that's it. Let's just stick with the outer glow for the shape. We can also reduce fill color to zero, so the red color will not pop up. All right. And now we are ready to apply similar effects, but this time to the main picture. So again, layer styles menu and maybe this time inner glow, something bright like this. Not too strong because I still want to keep this popping out train effect. So maybe let's blend it with overlay or something like that. You can experiment with different blending modes and also different levels of opacity for your light, for your inner glow. For me, this will do, I think. Let's click OK. Nice. So we got the main part of the project in. Just a few more little details before we finish. So what else can we do? I can add new blank layer, select the shape again. So hold command and click on the shape in the layer panel and then edit stroke. So we can actually draw quickly stroke in the same shape. Now I will use uh, eraser tool to erase the part of the stroke that is intersecting with the train. So I got like white frame for my portal but at the same time the train go through it so let's use soft brush in this case so i will pick eraser tool and i will make it very soft here eraser you can click here at the top reduce hardness to zero and now we'll erase the part of the stroke that is intersecting here with the train so we got this feeling that the stroke is behind the train. In addition, I can click here and there to make this st stroke like uh, less regular. Okay, nice. And one more thing I want to do. I will duplicate this whole layer of the train. Now I will create a new blank layer above it and I will match those two layers together. By doing that, I will get rid of the mask so I can apply a blur on it. Let's experiment with radial blur first. We can use zoom to give kind of like the motion to this train. I'm not really happy with this zoom blur, so maybe I will try something else. Let's try filter blur and motion blur itself. This way we can blur this in one direction. You can change the angle of this direction over here and then the distance. Cool, I think that's better. So I got this motion like blur. Of course, it's too strong right now, so I'll apply the mask on it again. Now it's blank, it's white, so I will use dark brush to mask out part of this blur layer. Oops, this is a strong hard brush, so let's make it zero in hardness so we got nice soft brush much better 
All right, so I can see the train is sharp again, but some details around the train are still blurry. Got this motion blur, the effect of speed. All right, that's nice. The one last finishing touch. One more new year layer, now gradient tool. This would be radial gradient. Black to white. And from here, from the train, little gradient and now we will change to overlay with reduce opacity so we got a little bit more contrast around this image all right and here it is very simple beginner friendly composition i hope you will be able to do something like this yourself if you like this tutorial you can follow my youtube channel for more creative tutorials i will see you in the next one bye